Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here. And in this video, I wanted to share with you what I believe to be an absolute lifesaver when it comes to selling on Amazon FBA. So if you're like myself and you're sending out a bunch of boxes every single week, uh, you're going to want to schedule UPS to come pick up your packages. Now, a lot of people get confused and they think that you're using pirate ship to actually print the labels and everything. No, 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 no. You're going to do what you normally do. So you're going to go, you're going to list your item either with go to list or Acceler list inventory lab or through Amazon seller central. You're going to print out your UPS label. You're going to pay through Amazon like you always do. Right. And then once you have your box complete and you've got your UPS labels, you know, stuck on the outside of your box, like you normally do, you're done. Instead of you taking your box and then putting it in your vehicle and driving it to UPS, what you're going to do is use pirate ship to schedule a pickup. So the way it works is pirate ship will uh, contact UPS and then UPS will come pick up your package. Now you might be wondering, Steve, well, why don't I just order a pickup through UPS? The reason is, is because if you do it through the UPS website, they're going to charge you, I think like 15 or $20 to pick it up. So by using pirate ship, you can schedule a pickup for only $3 and 80 cents. Now that's not $3 and 80 cents per box. That's $3 and 80 cents in total. And I'll share with you some examples of some shipments that I sent out and it's $3 and 80 cents for every single shipment. Now I actually have about, I just counted 27 boxes. I'm getting ready to ship out because I have really been slacking the last uh, 35 days or so. I, I did send out a shipment a bit ago, but I dropped it off myself because it was late. And the way that it works is you have to schedule the time for pickup in advance. And I just didn't want to risk it late at night. So just to recap, print your labels, do everything that you normally do through, through Amazon seller central, choose UPS carrier, get your discounted rate like normal. And then when you're done, go over here, go to pirateship.com and I'm going to share a link down below because when I went to do this, it wouldn't show me a schedule pickup button because I had never purchased a label through it. Um, so I'm going to actually share with you the URL to use. So I'll put this link down below ship.pirateship.com slash pickup. So you can see some of the shipments that I've sent out, the weight, the quantity, so on and so forth. And there have been times where I've dropped off packages because again, sometimes I don't finish up until five o'clock and it's a little too late, even though they do pick up a little later. So these aren't all my shipments, but these are the ones that I have used through pirate ship. So you're going to have to choose the location, uh, your address, the weight, the quantity, and then they give you, um, like a confirmation and, and, and whatnot. So it's pretty simple. So yeah, all you do is you click request pickup, you choose your time. And there may be some situations where maybe pirate ship won't work. If you live in like a, I don't know, in an area that's very rural and it's out in the middle of nowhere. I know in Canada, I talked to someone, uh, somebody who it didn't work for, but that's essentially, you know, how I do it. Of course, you're going to have to go in and, you know, put in your credit card or a banking information. I think I used a credit card and, uh, you're going to just, you know, go through the settings, make sure you set everything up with your correct address and everything. I have heard of some people saying that the uh, UPS driver didn't show up on time. I've heard a couple people say that, but I've never had that happen to me. Never once. Now I do like to set a time that's reasonable that I'm at least home or a time frame where I'm comfortable leaving it outside. Because again, you don't want people stealing your packages depending on where you live. You know, I live in a pretty good area, so I'm not super concerned, but I wouldn't want to leave, you know, nine packages on my steps at, you know, seven o'clock at night or something. And I wasn't going to be home all day. So obviously do this responsibly. I have cameras and security at my house. So I'm not super concerned. Uh, and again, it's a good neighborhood, but again, you know, proceed with caution, but yeah, hopefully that helps. There's really not too much to share besides sign up, put in your credit card. It's only $3 and 80 cents. So every single one of these, when I sent out nine packages, it was $3 and 80 cents. This was $3 and 80 cents. This was $3 and 80 cents. So it's not per unit. So, um, in terms of weight as well, I just kind of estimate the weight, although it is on the box, so I can just kind of add it up or whatnot, but I've never had any issues. It's very smooth. They pick it up. 
They don't leave a receipt for you. That is one thing that I've, um, that I, I, I should probably share. Cause the first time I did, I asked the guy for a receipt and he's like, we can't give you one. So I don't have a receipt. So I, I don't know if like there was an issue where it got lost or something, if that would pose a problem with Amazon. But the way I'm thinking is Amazon's not even going to back me anyways, if I don't even have an invoice. So, um, unless you're doing wholesale or something, then you would obviously have an invoice. But yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it's done. And hopefully this video helps. Much love. Appreciate you all. And if you like these types of tips and you're looking to grow your Amazon business, you want to keep selling, definitely check out. If you want to keep growing and selling more, check out Reselling Freedom down below. Also, I have a free five-day book selling workshop and a free Facebook community. So if you'd like to ask questions or engage more, or keep growing, keep learning, keep selling more products, I would love to see you there. Check out links down below. And with that being said, Let's keep crushing 2023, baby.